I am allowed to leave the monastery. This is the word of Master Ignatius? Master Ignatius gives his permission. Then the gate shall be open to you from now onwards. Did you know Hemler? Not really. He was a friend of Harlech's. If Harlech has friends, that is. Why shouldn't Harlech have friends? He's a pirate. I heard he was once cook on the Eleanor. Cook? dishwasher and on-board psychopath. He's utterly evil. A killer who doesn't care. But he got on with Hemla. Even killers don't kill everyone. Suppose even they need friends. How are you doing with your studies? Some days I don't think I'm going to complete my studies. Not even if I manage to live to a hundred. What's the Eleanor? The Eleanor's a ship. She belongs to the worst pirate on the Nine Oceans. Captain Gregorius Emmanuel Steelbeard. Steelbeard? Can you tell me about him? Anything other than his name? Yes. Stay out of his way. They say he was seen in Harbour Town not long ago. Who knows what he was doing? Right. There's something here about magic. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Who could teach me to pick locks? Get out! Yeah, bye bye. Come back later. Who could teach me to pick locks? Get out! Who could teach me to pick now? Who could teach me to pick locks? Sometimes you have to take the risk. Halt! There's no admittance to the temple area. What can you do? They're everywhere. The blaze to be sharp, that's very important. You're going to stand here I'm all sure day? You have plenty. I think you should have put up more of a fight. Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh, what now? I hear you're a pirate. Yeah, this kitchen can actually float. We only moved it up the mountain away from the sea to do some repairs. Pirates are commonly ruthless killers. Not all of them. And last I heard, Hemla wasn't killed in a boat. I just want to find out what you know. Well, I don't know anything. You sailed with Captain Steelbeard. You're new, and you're full of questions. I don't like either of those things. That's the past. Leave it alone. You're acting suspiciously. You're acting like a loud-mouthed cock. I want the truth. Other people will just go with perception and you're a pirate. A pirate whose knife was used to kill someone. Doesn't mean I did it. 
To some people, it'd be enough to earn you the noose. So, do you want to help me find the truth, or get hanged for playing the tough guy? Hell storms. I'm a cook, not a fucking pirate. I've been a cook for years. I stopped. I came here. I... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hemlar was an idiot. He got caught up in stuff. I was trying to help him. I'm listening. He got his deliveries in the cemetery. He used to meet someone there at night. They did deals. He was earning. Thought a few gold coins made him important. I need a name, Harlock. Who was Hemlar's partner? He never said. He had his secrets. I don't know. You want to know what his favorite food was? Yeah, I'll tell you. He didn't tell me who he dealt with. You could have told me that earlier. Saved yourself some hassle. Dead I'm before sure you have plenty to do. Mind, his brain was dead a long time before that. What? Quiet. I'm thinking. I'm looking for Hemlar's partner. Partner? You think he was, you know, with one of the novices? No, he was dealing Bruegel weed. Oh! Well, I wasn't his partner. It wasn't me, if that's what you wanted to know. I heard Hemlar used to come to the cemetery regularly. What do you know about that? He was here, but so were a lot of people. Who did Hemlar meet with in there? No idea. You're a terrible gatekeeper, you know that. I stand here day and night until my legs drop off. Now I get abuse. It doesn't matter if it's pouring rain or I'm freezing my balls off. I stand here and do my job. If you did your job, you'd know who went in. No one. If I let people in, I'd be back turning over the dung heap. So get it clear. I didn't let anyone in. You must have seen something. It was dark. What could I have seen? It was dark. So someone did come and they came at night. What else? Nothing. Hemlock came here at night. That's all. You're not losing me my job. You will lose your job if I talk to the Masters and they have to come down here. Let's try this. You take a bribe and turn a blind eye to what's going on in the cemetery. You've got no proof. And you stink of guilt. I'm screwed, aren't I? If I talk, you've got to put a word in for me with the Masters. Tell me what you know about Hemlar. Hemlar was in the cemetery all the time. He met someone there. Who was that? I don't know. Honest. Hemlar always slipped me some weed to look the other way. That's what I did. You know how lousy guard duty is. The only thing I can tell you is that he must have met one of the novices. That's all I was able to make out. Take a look at this list. But I didn't see anything. I told you. Could have been any of the novices. Think hard. Well, you can cross Enzo off. I'd have recognized him. Stinks of scrolls and study. Looks like there's a broom up his ass. It wasn't him. The others... could be. I don't know. What reason do you have for staring at me? I'm sure you have things to deal with. Oh dear. Who's there? Oh. What? What? Who's there? Huh? Is someone there?
Why are you in here? Ah! Ah! 
Here's some more ore. This could be useful. Ah! <laughs> 
Who could teach me to pick locks?
Let's trade. I've come from Master Cyrus. And? Are they finally ready up there? Can we send up the crates? Yes. Good. Then I'll get things moving. There's something else. Yes? What is it? Master Cyrus wants to have the special artifacts immediately. I'm supposed to take them to him personally. Those are important pieces you're talking about. How can I be sure you won't run off with them? What happened to trusting people? Distrust comes with experience. Why should I trust you? So, he'll rip my head off if I come back empty-handed. Ah, now that sounds like Master Cyrus. Fine, I'll trust you. You better take the artifacts to him before he gets nasty. I've dealt with your monsters. You have nothing to fear from the shadows anymore. Really? Those horrible things? You faced them? Yeah. They were... gnomes. Gnomes? Are you sure? They, they sounded a lot bigger. Well, there were a few of them. Listen, don't tell anyone about this. The boys will never let me hear the end of it. It'll be gnome heads in my bed for weeks. Sure. I won't say a thing. Thanks. You're a pal. I don't think we have anything to talk about, do we? Interesting. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Don't you have something to do? found something on Hemlar's partner. What? Hemlar used to meet someone in secret. A novice. Hmm. That eliminates Harlock, Tucker, and Carlson. What else do you know? Enzo wasn't Hemlar's partner. I've a witness who'll state that. 
Then that just leaves Ash and Taylor. What can you tell me about them? I never thought that much of it before. But Hamler and Taylor used to fight a lot. No idea what about. Could be. It was about their business. Now you tell me. You didn't think that was important? Hey, calm down. Like I said, I didn't think anything of it. Scuffles happen. People are tense. Show me what you've got. Don't touch anything. I've heard that you had arguments with Hemlar. What are you saying? That I killed him? I never touched him. You were seen in the cemetery the night he was killed. So? So, that makes me suspicious. Damn that Hemlar. He's dead and still making my life miserable. Just tell me what you know. Okay, so I saw Hemlar in the cemetery. He was always heading there late at night. Rumor was he hid his gold in one of the graves, but turned out he was meeting someone. Didn't see their face. Why were you there? The grumpy bastard was overcharging me for Bruegel. He knew I needed it, and knew I was nervous about getting caught. I wanted to pay him back. So you killed him? No! I was hoping to find out if the rumors were true about the gold being hidden there. So I followed him, but he just had this secret little meeting and left. Went back to his room, and his mystery friend disappeared into the upper part of the monastery. The upper part? Well, naturally, I couldn't follow him. I'm not allowed up there. Don't bother me. I need some rest. I can't help you. Ah! Ah! 
I need some rest. Don't bother me. We can talk when you have business. Now be about yours. Hemlar's partner is allowed in the upper part of the monastery. Ah, then it must be Ash. He and Enzo are the only ones on the list who are allowed up there, and your witness said it wasn't Enzo. I reckon we've cracked the case. I'm sorry, Craven is dead. A shame, a mistake. I underestimated the danger of his task. Here, this is for your effort. I'm sure you have plenty to do. I hear you hang around the cemetery at night. Who says? It's where you met your partner, Hemla. That's not true. I had a test to pass there. You've got this all wrong. You should be grilling Taylor. He was always arguing with Hemla. Let's have a little talk, you and me. About what? I know nothing about anything. Well, I know you were supplying weed to Hemla. That's a lie. You're the only novice with access to the upper area of the monastery and to the cemetery. So? What does that prove? So? So, I have a witness. You keep lying. This will only get worse. But I can help you. All right, all right. I did get the Bruegel for Hemlar, but I didn't kill him. I swear. But you know something about it. I only know Hemlar was being threatened. Maybe someone didn't like him dealing. Who threatened Hemla? <laughs> no idea. And I don't want to guess. I'm not looking for someone who stole a bowl of stew. Hemla is dead. I'm looking for a murderer, Ash. You want to know who killed Hemla? Do you really want to find out? 
Why do you think I'm here? All right. You sell Bruegelweed yourself. Whoever killed Hemlar will probably come after you. Are you trying to help me or get me killed? All right, give me the Bruegelweed. I can't believe I'm just handing my gear over. Here's the packet. There are ten smokes left inside. You'll have to sell or give away enough rolls to make it clear you're the new dealer. Oh, and Hemlar sold his Bruegel for 50 gold coins a roll. It'd be a good idea to stick to that if you want to avoid hassle. What do I do once I've sold all the Bruegel? That's up to you. Wait, see if the killer does something. Up to you. If you're lucky, they might talk to you. Find out more. Or they might just take their chance. Like he did with Hemlar. It'll be when you go to sleep. Or get in a bath. Any time you're off guard, that's when I'd do it. Oh, only it wasn't me, right? Wanna buy a smoke? I gave them to you. And I've had enough of that brain-melting stuff to last a lifetime. Would you care for some Bruegelweed? The path to enlightenment through that is but fleeting. Interested in some weed? Um, uh, actually, I'd better not. Care for some weed? Not for me. My brain's full already. sure you have things to deal with. What is it? You should get some training. <laughs> Would you like a smoke? Bruegel? You've taken over from Hemlar, have you? Okay, I'll take one. How much? Just 50 gold coins. Good to see Bruegel selling for a reasonable price. Rugal is my only vice, and Hemlar, that swindler, made me pay through the nose for it. Keep your hands where I can see them. Fancy a smoke? Ah, found Hemlar's stash, did you? Want to go into business, do you? Do you want some or not? Yeah, all right. Give me one roll. But you better know your ass is on the line if you're dealing. Do you want to buy some Bruegel? Have you got some? After all that business with Hemlar, I thought the supply would have dried up. Here. It's very smooth. I don't know which I prefer. Smoking or drinking. Both agree with me. So I'll do both. Would you like some Bruegelweed? I prefer to keep my mind clear. I would suggest you do the same. Are you trying to take Hemlar's place as a trader of diversion? Or are you here to train as a warrior? I've only taken this role to find Hemlar's killer. Oh, I see. Well, make sure you only play the part. There are many who start things as a pretense, then become them for real. Interested in a smoke? No. That stuff rots your mind. It's not for me. Would you like something to smoke? 
Smoke? You mean Bruegel? Where did you get that? I'll pass, and be careful who sees you with that. I'm selling Bruegel. Interested? How does a baby face like you get hold of Bruegel? Do you want some or not? If I did, I could just take it from you. Are we gonna talk tough or do business? All right, I'll pay for some. But it better be good stuff. Silence, please. Hey, do you smoke Bruegel? Does Abrax have eyebrows? Of course I do. Don't you have something to do? I don't think we have anything to talk about, do we? Would you like to buy some Bruegel weed? Well, if you've got some Bruegel on you, I wouldn't say no. But I ain't giving you one coin more than I gave Emla. Fine. What can you teach me? I want to learn how to forge a two-handed sword. You must be getting confident. You'll have to make the hammer dance on the glowing blade for one of those. Fast, precise strokes. That's what you need. When you hear that special ringing sound from the unfinished blade, you know you're doing it right. That's the song of the forge, one of our trade secrets. Means you're bringing out the very best properties of the metal. That's how you create a masterpiece. Do you need something to smoke? Some spiritual preparation for the upcoming fight. Why not? I'll smoke whatever you've got. I hope you rot, like the rest of those fanatics. I've got some Bruegel weed. So? It would help your guard duty drift by. Yeah? Do you fancy a Bruegel smoke? What? Are you taking over Hemler's business now? I'm trying to draw the killer's attention. Ah, I see. Yes, I will take a Bruegel smoke. Here's your gold. I've sold all the Bruegel weed. And now what? Now I wait for the killer to come and see who's been stealing his customers. You do remember Hemler ended up dead? Well, it's your neck. You really want to draw him? Be somewhere out of sight. You know, in out-of-the-way places. Any suggestions? I don't know. Maybe the washroom? Why did you do it, lad? Do what, Master Eric? Couldn't you have come to me first? You really don't understand, do you? I just did this to find Hemlar's killer. That's you, Master Eric. You think I don't care about what I did? I never intended it to end this way. You think I don't wake up in a cold sweat every night seeing his face? Then why did you kill him? All I wanted was my share. For helping him find clients, for turning a blind eye. 
I needed that gold to get back to the mainland. I have to find them. So what's happening on the mainland? I may never know now. It may be too late. Too late for any of us. The Bruegel was my last hope to get home. Their last hope. I'll cut you! Ah! Ah! Dang! Ah! ah. Enough. Enough. Very well. I thought you were different. That you could see what's really going on here. I'm just doing what I can to survive. As was I, lad. Hey! Not now. What do you want here? No money. Fresh fish. I know for sure who killed Hemlar. Master Arik. Hemlar owed Arik for the Bruegel he'd supplied and Hemlar wouldn't pay. Seems Arik was desperate for gold to get back to the mainland. Desperate enough to kill? I didn't think he could do something like that. Have you told Vitus? No, not yet. You have to tell him. Arik, of all people. That's going to cause a stir. I'm sure Still. you have plenty to do. Things in the room. Things in the wood. You seem excited. I found Hemlar's killer. Are you certain? Yes. It was Master Arik. Hemlar owed him for the Bruegelweed he'd supplied. He killed Hemlar, and would have killed me given the chance. What have you done with Arik? Nothing. He's still alive. What should happen to him now? We will deal with him. You have done good work. Do I receive a reward? You have shown insight and service, both of which the Convocation rewards. Use your insight. Choose your reward. My strength in magic will be the Convocations. So it shall be. How do I create a magic scroll? In order to create a scroll, you require a template, a rune. You will need to copy the magical structure of that rune onto a parchment on a rune table. In order to fix the magic in the parchment, you will need specific ingredients depending on the spell you seek to store. Looks good. I have completed the scroll, Master. Hmm, I see. Yes, well, not bad. 
The scroll has indeed stored the rune's power. You have passed your test. Of course, you should now be able to create your own scrolls. But should you need some pre-prepared scrolls, I may be able to help. Master, I need scrolls. Master, I need scrolls. So... Eric murdered Hemlar. While gold never rusts, it seems it always corrupts. He would have done us all much harm if you hadn't found him. Removing him has proved your worth. I have recovered the fire crystal. I never doubted your skills. Once you are ready, we will begin your study of crystal magic. Soon we will be able to accept you into the Convocation of Mages. I need a hammer and tongs for that. Someone needs to do something. In the middle of all this insanity. With men in the room, I'm sure you have. I talked to Severin. And? He's sending more crates to the monastery. Good. Time is short. Time is short. I got the artifacts from Severin. Good. Good. Hmm. This disc looks peculiar. Ancient. Hmm, oh, yes. This may interest Mendoza. You've done well. Does well mean a reward? Hmm. You can take one minor artifact. I'd like that small ruby. A basic red mineral crystal. Hmm. Make what use of it you can. What reason do you have for staring at me? Master Pallas did not offer me a test. Then he must consider you have progressed sufficiently already. Let us consider that matter over. I have completed Master Abrax's test. Another step along your chosen path. I delivered the artifacts Master Cyrus required. A job well done. Those artifacts may reveal secrets important to our future. I have solved Master Vitus's riddle. His teaching methods are unusual, but effective. Master Illumar has taught me how to create scrolls. An art which may save your life. I hope you paid close attention. Those are the tasks I have completed. A journey ends at its destination. You must complete all the tests. I have completed the tasks you set me. Yes, I heard from my brother mages that you did well. You are ready for initiation. 
We must make the necessary preparations. Master Ignatius, what will be expected of me at the initiation? The Inquisitor will ask you some questions, but do not worry, it is not a test. Simply answer as your intuition tells you to. Then you will swear fealty to the Convocation of the Holy Flame. And that is all I will need to do? That is all. What sort of preparations? The initiation requires you to carry a mage's staff. Carlson can provide you with one. Go to him. Return here and I will accompany you to the Hall of the Flame. Show me your goods. Master Ignatius sent me. I need a mage's staff. You got far fast. A member of the convocation now. That's pretty incredible. Well, here's your mage's staff and well done. Thanks. Don't thank me. Only way that's going to save your life around here is if you know what to do with it. Halt! There's no admittance to the temple area. Yeah! Get out of here! What? Yeah! Get out What's of wrong? here! Someone there. That's not your bed. There you are. Are you ready for your initiation? I am ready. Then follow me to the Hall of the Flame.
This text is about magic spells. Interesting. Who could teach me to pick locks? The protectors of the Holy Flame are gathered so that you can take the oath of the Convocation. Have you been tested? Yes. Are you prepared to take the oath? I am. Then it begins. Will you honor the Holy Flame, the Convocation and its laws? I will. The honor of the Convocation must be defended. I will defend the Convocation. We fight for humanity, for our people. They rely upon our strength. I am their strength. Ignorance is our enemy. I shall bring knowledge. Weakness of purpose is our enemy. I shall not falter. Through your oath, you are bound to the Convocation. Your path through life is now tied to the Convocation of the Holy Flame. Truth and justice will accompany me. The word which you proclaim in our name will be true. Your word will be our judgment. You bring mercy. You bring justice. As a mage, you wield the powers given to us by the flame. Wear this robe as a sign of your office. The ceremony has sealed our bond. You are now one with the Convocation. I am ready for what this brings. Good. Then you will work for me, starting immediately. You are now subject solely to my direct orders. But am I going to get any answers? In order to understand why I am here, what we are fighting for, you must know certain things. So ask your questions. I am ready. Good. But I suspect you must have questions. I do. The gods have left the world. Humanity was supposed to be free. Instead, these storms are sweeping us from the face of the land. These creatures are killing our people. But while the Holy Flame burns strong in this hall, we stand a chance. Let's see if your actions and words match. I will offer you a task. Carry that out, and I shall take it as a sign that the Don can be trusted, that your words are true. Why is the Holy Flame important? The Flame is a source of magic. The island is protected by its power. Protected? What about the ruins that appeared and the creatures? They are not our prime concern. It is the storms we must worry about. Why did the gods leave the world? A mage who wanted to free humanity drove them from this world. And we are at the mercy of what that magic released. What matters now is our survival. You keep talking of a worse threat. What is this threat you fear? The dark wave the mage used to free us from the gods has released other powers. Titans crossing the seas they come with the storms. I have seen them. I have witnessed the destruction they bring to humanity. They are everywhere, and we have found no weapon that can stand against them. What are the Titans? Will you follow me and learn? But how can we stop this destruction? As long as the flame burns, this island is safe, and that gives us time. Time to discover why the Titans do not come here. How they may be stopped. Yes. Show me. Good. 
I have not misjudged you. Follow me and learn the truth. This world, all the lands you know, were once the domain of the Titans, old beings that shaped this world. They are raw forces of nature that were tamed by the deities you grew up knowing, the gods that enslaved humanity. It was man's duty to drive away those gods, to loose our chains, but in that action, the Titans have also been freed. They seek to take this world from humanity, human, Titan. One must give. It will not be humanity. Follow me and we shall make certain of this. I have fought the Titans. On land and sea. But their magic is old. Their bodies incorporeal. We will win this battle only once we know how to use the flame. But for that, we must fathom its mysteries. Come, we must go. The temple ruins contain many secrets. It was in such a temple I discovered the ocular I wear. It shows me the magical currents of the world. The holy flame has its origins in the fire of the volcano, and the currents on this island flow there. It must be tied to the secret of this island's survival. Come, let us go there. This gate will lead us to the source of the holy flame. This gate will lead us to the secret of the storms. Humanity must be defended, and it is the flame that holds the key to this. Is there a faster way to reach this place? Take this teleport stone. It is a valuable artifact from the temples. It will bring you directly back to me. This is your mission. This is your duty. Do not fail it. How do we get this gate open? No spell, no brute force can open it. Only the five keys it needs will do. Five crystal discs will open this mechanism. How do you know those discs will open this? I have one of them, and it fits the lock. Unfortunately, the one I have is damaged. The other four missing, but they must be on this island. I came here to seek answers. Those answers are inside this mountain, beyond this gate. You will get me inside. Find these discs. Find them and bring them to me. I will find the crystal discs. The outlaws are looting the ruins. Maybe they found something useful. Look around their camp. Talk to their leader and get me any discs you find there. What if the Don causes problems? He is a man of business. He will negotiate. And if he negotiates, what should I offer him? What he wants. Gold. Tell him he can plunder the ruins he occupies, take whatever baubles he wants. I am only interested in the discs. Inquisitor. Will you train me? 
If you wish, I can instruct you in combat. About the crystal discs. Where else should I look for discs, besides the Don's camp? There are no discs in the monastery, but Severin is gathering artifacts at the Inquisition camp outside here, at a place called Tilda's Farm. We can hope he has something there. Talk to Severin. See what they have discovered. About the crystal discs. What happened to the damaged disc? It was exposed to the dark wave. The magic released to drive away the gods, and its crystal lost all of its power. Without it, we cannot open the portal. So what was the point in coming here? I think we can repair the missing disc. I sent the mage Cyrus to see to this. How can the disc be repaired? The druid Eldrick is an expert on crystals. He should be able to help us. And he has spent time studying the ruins here. If anyone on this island has the knowledge to repair the disc, it is him. You don't know if he can fix the disc? If you spend your life waiting until you know things for certain, you will learn nothing. I sent Cyrus to the Druid, but he has yet to return. You should check on him and see what progress the Druid has made. So you think something happened to Cyrus? We should investigate to make sure we must repair the disc. Where do I find this Druid Eldrick? He's a hermit. He has a hut on the east side of the island. It is at the foot of the volcano in the shadow of the mountain face. What do druids do? They study magic, draw on the raw, untamed power of nature. This can make them a little strange. They spend their time getting closer to nature, studying animals, avoiding order and civilization. And this druid has the knowledge to help us. Druids are guardians of very ancient and powerful knowledge. Knowledge we need now. I will look for Cyrus. Good. See to it. Make sure Eldrick repairs the disc, then bring it to me. But hurry. We do not have much time left. <laughs>